Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I've been working on this project for, well, I shouldn't say working on it. I have had this project for a little while, um, just kicking around on my floor in my room, and uh, it's a 3D printer. Now, about this 3D printer is I bought it off of eBay because it was for parts not working. It was missing a ton of things, and it was completely dismantled. So I kind of bought it, assuming at the most I'll get a couple motors out of it. I mean, it was expensive for that, but at, at, or at the least, I mean, I'll get the motors. Um, but I put it together when I got it. It was missing the extruder, the hot end, a bunch of electronics like the, um, well, the actual heater block was missing, the heating element was missing, the temp sensor was missing, the heated bed was missing, all the screws were missing for that. Um, I think some random screws in general were missing. And so I've been, you know, looking around and kind of gathering stuff to build um, this machine back better. And uh, I, uh, I already have three other Bowden extruder uh, setups. So I figured I'd do a direct drive just so it's, I can print TPU. And I mean, you can print TPU with a Bowden, but um, just have a dedicated machine for different filaments. I mean, I already have so many other machines that can handle whatever with Bowden, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And um, I've been watching some videos about the Orbiter extruder, saw that it's a pretty decent thing, so I figured I'd give that a shot. So I got myself an Orbiter extruder version 1.5, so you don't have to worry about the whole unconstrained filament issue, hopefully, I'm hoping, because um, I want to print TPU with it. I got two spills of TPU. Um, and we just got to, uh, and, and as far as cooling, since there was no extra, the only thing that was there was the, um, the blue housing and it was only being held on by one of the screws and it was like bent all hanging off the side. So, um, instead of doing that, I am going with the Hero Me 5 cooling system with a new all metal hot end for higher temperatures I heard TPU I don't know if you need to heat it a lot but it's easier the hotter it is uh, and in order to go with the Hero Me 5 hot end it doesn't work with the Tron XY which is what it is it's Tron XY <gasps> it's a Tron XY um, 2 Pro I think uh, not the one I already had one that was um, upgraded with the Titan extruder um, this one isn't upgraded with the Titan extruder so everything's blue instead of being black um, so in order to use Hear Me 5 system, I had to uh, get a Ender 3 gantry uh, plate, and so that will be going on instead of the stock Tronix Y plate, which is no big deal. That'll be pretty easy to do. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we got right here is the whole assembly of uh, extruders in there. Um, I just need to put the orbital or, orbiter orbiter on top I just cut myself a little bit of PTFE tubing the Capricorn stuff extra I got it's actually I bought an upgraded motherboard for my Ender 3 and it came with Capricorn tubing too and a couple other upgrades like filament runout sensor it was enough Capricorn tubing for two and a half printers I put it on my current Tron XY that's running and my Ender 3 and still have this much left over and the amount I cut off for the new printer. So I mean, technically it's three printers, but it's a direct drive, so it doesn't really count. Uh, and this is, um, I don't, I haven't seen anybody do a Hero Me 5 with an Orbiter. And I think they just added compatibility with it. So I don't know if this is the first video with it or what, but I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. Let's get into it.